In fact, all eyes are going to be on the sky on Monday, hopefully, though, with some protective glasses to witness the solar eclipse. Yeah, we have a unique opportunity here in the Chicago area to witness a partial viewing of it. The path of totality is not too far away from us. So we're sending NBC5 to the Torres, and she's joining us here live from the Adler Planetarium, where they're planning one of the many events. Sandra. Hey, yeah, JC and Michelle, look, the Adler Planetarium wants to invite people to come here on Monday to Museum Campus between 12 and 3.30 p.m. It's a free event. They're expecting hundreds of people, possibly more than a 1,000, uh, to line up here and just basically enjoy the view. They're going to be giving away some of these free protective glasses, which is very exciting. Of course, first come, first serve. And if you're wondering why this is such a big deal, well, here is why. First of all, the time of totality, if you're in the path of totality, is going to be longer. The area that's covered by the eclipse is twice as long. It's over across 15 U.S. states. And Dr. Hakim Sade is an expert from NASA. He sa she says that more than 31 million people will be in the path of totality. And that's why thousands are heading to locations like Carbondale, Indianapolis, Indianapolis as well to witness it all. Now, Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb issued an executive order last week. They are warning about a significant influx. Several hundred thousand visitors are expected to head to the state to witness the solar eclipse. The last solar eclipse to pass directly over Indiana occurred in 1869. The next one not expected to occur until 2099. Despite the eclipse lasting less than four minutes, we know that this phenomenon is out of this world and one that people from around the world will travel to see. And the solar eclipse is expected to be visible around 2.06 p.m. Central Time on Monday. There's a huge event expected at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Tickets are going for 20 bucks. There's going to be 50,000 people there, including George Mitzik and I. We are so excited to be a part of this. Uh, we are going to be broadcasting live all day on Monday, and we're going to be there on Sunday as well. We're going to get there pretty early to get a lay of the land, make sure we understand what's going on. We cannot wait. And of course, we'll be here live on NBC5's morning show as well, Michelle and JC. And of course, smart to get there early. You're going to have a lot of company out there, Sandra. Can't wait to That's see. That's my fear. My yeah. fear is leaving, right? Because <laughs> everybody's headed there. But once it's over, we got to come home. <laughs> and everybody's going to be headed out at the same time. Uh, well, yeah. it's going to be a great time. We can't wait to watch. Sandra, thank you. Yeah, and enjoy